Hello there guys, welcome back to the Chelsea Man Football. I hope you are doing all right around the world. Can an era come to an end? Can a legend of a football club or a manager come to an end? Yes, he can. Of course he can. At this time, for what I see, in the world of football guys, I see managers, good managers, they can have four or three season successful season, but that's a, at one point, at one point, that era will end. That era will end, no matter what, no matter how good they are, no matter how success they have brought to the club, everything comes to an end. For example, look at Crop at Liverpool. How many years, successful years with Liverpool. He has done magnificent thing. But they are struggling. They are struggling. It's not like Chelsea, like I said yesterday, we can have an excuse about it because we were sanctioned and everything was bad. Uh, our money was frozen. We cannot even use our money, all of their stuff. We were sanctioned, right? But Liverpool, they were not sanctioned. They came from the top to zero. So an error can come to an end. It is what it is. This make me think that this football in our days, I think managers, they can just last long at the club for five years when they win something major major big or they win like for example three four five titles and then after that you started seeing club starting going down a little bit by little that happens over time so why this is happening why even the good managers like i give example crop and pep Guardiola, things are not looking good at city they are not playing well they are not playing well if you see yesterday they played uh with tottenham they lost one nail <laughs> arsenal lost one nail so arsenal is in a good position right now they're still five points clear at the top of the table but can an era come to an end? That's my question to you guys. As I said, I repeat again, I think managers, if they win some titles, they last three, four seasons. If they are successful in those seasons, they won't continue, continue to be successful. They won't. There are going to be some point where they're going to start faring down. Things won't start working properly. City, they have lost Cancelo, goes to Bayern Munich. And yesterday game, I was surprised uh, Kevin De Bruyne didn't start against Spurs. That's a huge game. That's a very huge game not to start a player like Kevin De Bruyne. It is crazy. It is crazy. I was very shocked and surprised why Kevin didn't start. Orland in the box. He didn't have any shots on target, Orland. The amount of spaces he was running into the box, nobody was passing the ball to him. And the way the City they were playing, it was terrible. Defending, they were like lost a little bit. Of course, it's Manchester City. Those passes they make, magical passes, they pa 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 pa. We saw all that stuff, right? But nothing worked. Tottenham scored an airy goal, airy, I think in the 17 minutes or 18 minutes, somewhere there. Airy goal scored and then I thought City were going to score because that's what we know. If you score City, it's like you poke a lion <laughs> and they will come on you. They will score four goals. Oh my, you're going to be running away. We thought that's going to happen, but from 18, from 17 minutes, I think when Tottenham Hurricane scored is. 200th goal for the club, a goal scoring machine, Harry Kane. I'm gonna come to him because I got some, some few things to say about Harry Kane. But an error can come to an end, and managers at some point they lose their control of the dressing room, or some of the players they are not happy with managers. This has happened. It, it can happen to any manager. It can happen to a top manager, to a lower team manager. It can happen. 
some or somewhere you can lose control some of the players they cannot start leaving some of the players they want to play every game that's what it is so it is very very sad now Harry Kane Harry Kane need to leave Tottenham he need to leave Tottenham if he wants to win some major trophies he need to leave Tottenham because it's not looking good at Spurs he would just stay there Wasting his time without winning trophies, Tottenham they won they never won any trophies. They they were in the Champions League final against Liverpool in 2019. They came very close, very close to win that title. But it, it's Tottenham thing. They never won titles. It's a surprise, right? It's not a, it's not a surprise. I would say. What am I saying? It's a surprise. It's not a surprise. So for me, Harry Kane need to go to a top club. You see, if he came at Chelsea, he should have won two Champions League and five major Premier League <laughs> or an FA Cup, you know? Those are the, he's a type of a striker Chelsea need, Harry Kane. He's very, very good. I like watching him. He's very, very good. So, yesterday he showed what kind of a striker he is and Aaron Oland disappeared. For the first time, I've seen Oland play in Bruce Dortmund and when he came at Manchester City, you know, he just started scoring. But for the first time, I see Oland lost yesterday. He was lost. When Kevin De Bruyne came on in a second half, when he got the ball, he would look where Oland is. He would try to pass the ball, but Tottenham defense, they were just magnificent. And they have a coach who knows how to defend very well. So if Tottenham scored under Antonio Conte, they score you. He'll make sure he put the block on the back. You won't get through. You won't get through. <laughs> That's what he is. So let me know in the comment, guys. Can an error, this is my word, can an error or a legend come to an end? If you know, you know. Everything comes to an end. Everything that comes to an end. And this is why managers at any football club, they will not last long. So at this point, at this age, this age, uh what is this um century 20th century i think you we're gonna see clubs changing manager after maybe two years or three years or four years we're gonna see every club changing manager changing manager i don't think we'll see a manager last 15 to 20 years only ferguson at manchester united and arsenal Wenger at Arsenal, they lasted long, long. But keep in mind, that was a different era. That was like 1980s, 70s, you know. That was a different time. This time, everything has changed. We're going to see clubs changing managers. One, two, three. One, two, three. It's normal. But Roman was doing that. That's why Chelsea, they are successful. They are successful because they changed managers, top quality managers and it's good because Roman he knew exactly what Chelsea need if a manager is doing bad you sack the manager and put a top quality manager and back him in the transfer market get top players win the Premier League win the FA Cup win the Champions League that's what Chelsea does and people they were laughing at Chelsea because of changing managers all the time now you see how Chelsea, <laughs> ah, it's good. We were, we were successful because of that. A lot of people, they were like, eh, who cares? Who cares? We won more trophies, more European trophies than Arsenal. <laughs> we have lots of European trophies. So guys, let me know in the comment, what do you think about this? Now, there's another news, Manchester City. I saw this news popped up. It's not my concern. It's not my club. So I have nothing to do with it. They have been accused of something very bad. I feel sorry for that. Very sorry. So let's go straight into it and see. Breaking Man City charged by Premier League with enormous branches of financial loose following a four year investigation. This is unprostated. It is very sad, very sad. They have been accused for this, but we don't know the story. Uh, we don't know the full details yet. So we are waiting for the Premier League to give us full statement. I don't know if it's true or false, 
I think I will not uh, come up here and say, oh, no, 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 you don't know the truth yet. So wait and see. If you look those small words, I cannot read them. They're so small, but I'll leave them on the screen at the end of this video if you want to, if you are interested to read. It's not your club, it's not your team, but I'm saying if you are interested, you can read. But me, uh, it's not my club. It's nothing to do with me, so. <laughs> they have to deal with them with with it right so if you see I'm gonna read the lead to me let's see one in respect of each of the season 2009-2010-2017 in exclusive the Premier League rules are breakable in those season that required provision by a member club to the Premier League in the almost good faith of accurate financial information that gives a true and a fair view of club's financial position in particular with respect to its revenue including sponsorship revenue it is related parties and it is operating core. But Premier League knows what they are doing. The Premier League they are very tough. If they find an error, they will investigate until they find the truth. So, let's see, let's continue. Rage of sanctioned possible, including point dedication if branches are provided. Man City eat with more than 100 charges of breaching rules by the Premier League. Possible sanctioned if find proven, including point dediction or even explained from the league very surprising so if they found them guilty if they are not guilty but if they found them guilty they may kick, be kicked out from the premier league they may uh, they, they may take the points from them and all those season if you look those words i gave it to you those small that's where you look where you look all those season city they did the transfer market all those stuff if they found them guilty, they may take all the trophies they own, all the medals they have, they may take them away from them. It is sad that news came out, very sad for the Manchester City fans. We went through all that, <laughs> we went through all that, so I, I feel for them, I feel how bad the situation is right now at Manchester City and how... Uh, I cannot believe it. I cannot believe, man. We went through that sanction with Roman, sanction with Chelsea, and it was just a nightmare for all the Chelsea fans. It was just like, when are we going to start playing football? When are we going to see all this uh, blah, blah, blah? It was just... Uh... So I, I understand how City fans are going through right now. So I hope they sort this out. I hope they come... You know, we start seeing them playing football. You, you cannot be happy if your friend is struggling, right? Love your enemies. <laughs> Love your enemies. So I hope everything comes good. I really do. I really hope. I'm not praying for them to be like, yeah, just, yeah, yeah, no. That's not good. That's not a good heart. You have to have a good heart. You have to play for your enemies. Love your enemies <laughs> as you love yourself. So this is... Uh, a bad news for City, but I hope, I hope everything is good. Everything is good. They are not uh, uh, sanctioned yet. They, they are fine. But there's another thing Pep Guardiola said in May 2019, 2022. He said something. Speaking in May last year, Pep said he told Manchester City he should leave if found out the club had lied to him about the financial affairs. When they are accused of something, I ask them, tell me about that. They explain, and I believe them. I said to them, if you lie to me, and the day after I am not here, I will be out, and I will not be your friend anymore. I put my faith in you because I believe you, 100% from day one and I defend the club because of that. Pep Guardiola said that if they found them guilty, Pep Guardiola will leave Manchester City Football Club. And now this is where I look Chelsea. If that happened, we don't know yet. I'm just making sure everybody knows that. 
this has never this is not happened yet but if if they found Manchester City guilty Pep Guardiola will leave <laughs> this is this is why I look to Chelsea like if that guy leaves go on his doorstep and knock hey mate do you want a Chelsea job <laughs> do you want a Chelsea job okay we got a place for you here is your job take care of this Chelsea team and if Pep Guardiola comes to Chelsea Football Club those players I'm telling you <laughs> They will get up from their sleep. <laughs> of, oh, they will get up in their long nap of their stress like this. They will get up because that guy is very serious, very serious manager. And I like, I like how he managed uh, teams. We have seen how he successful at Barcelona, Bayern Munich, City. Very successful manager. I would take Pep Guardiola over uh, Crop at Liverpool if they both of them become available. I will take Pep because it's the one I like most. So guys, let me know in the comment. What do you think about Manchester City being accused of uh, financial stuff with the Premier League? If you are happy about that, if you want Manchester City not uh, to go down, <laughs> let me know. I think I think it's gonna be fine. I think it's gonna be fine. I really do. You know, it's ah, it is sad. It, it's very hard to say. I think it's gonna be fine, but because you don't know, you don't know what's gonna happen. You don't know if it's true or not. You know, a lot of information coming out on social media. Some of the some of them you see they are talking about this. Some of this they are talking about this. So you don't know the truth. You are confused. What is the truth? So. I like to wait. I like to wait. The Premier League, they, they can give you information properly if they found everything is, okay, this is the truth. City, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, then that's when you talk about it, like, oh, now this is, yeah, yeah, yeah. But we don't know the truth yet. Yeah. So guys, let me know. What do you think can an error <laughs> come to an end? That's my title today. Can an error come to an end? Yes, he can. Yes, he can. So, let me know what do you think about that. As I said, um, this century, I mean, I don't think we're going to see a manager stay at the club for more than 10 years or 20 years. I don't think so. I think these days managers can be successful for five years. That's it. And they're out of the club. That's it. Top manager or a lower manager, it's the same thing. So guys, I'll see you soon for a brand new video. Have a lovely day wherever you are and stay safe and subscribe to the Chelsea Man Football hit notification bell so we can reach the Champions League. Where is it? Ah, the trophy, where is it? Uh, oh, it's a Chelsea Football Club, yeah. Another one, three. Three of them. We have won two times Champions League. So number three is on the way. This season, who knows? Because we do that. That's what Chelsea are. I'll see you soon. Have a lovely day, wherever you are. And God bless.